What is going on guys? It is your boy Beagus and we are here for another episode of the Ultra Sun Randomized Nuzlocke. And in today's episode, we are going to be continuing to go through this fairy trial and take on the trial captains, I think, to get some flower petals. But if you guys are excited, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you guys are brand new to be a part of the brigade and all that fun jibber jabber good stuff and all that yeah but let's go ahead and get a quick team recap because i have to remember exactly what my team is because the team has just changed but first off we got scott or dugong with aqua tail ice beam thunderbolt and size shock with the power construct ability and the mystic water then we also got alex our Leo, with zen headbutt crunch thunderfang flash cannon sweet veil holding that assault vest because this thing is going to be the bulkiest thing on my team if I don't know what bulk is. Then we also got Boom Box, the Expelloud with Stomp, Fake Out, Leash Life, Revenge, Airlock, and the Quick Claw. Then we also got John, Mr. Panette, the T-Tar, the Tyranitar with Rock Slide, Crunch, Earthquake, Chip Away, Symbiosis, holding that muscle band because... He's just that powerful. Boom, boom, fire power. Then we also got Casper, the friendly ghost, the Gengar, with Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, Dream Eater, and Sleep Powder with Bad Dreams, holding the wide lens so he can hit everything. Then we also got, last but certainly not least, the, the, how does, how does John Panette say it? Salad is not food. Salad comes with the food. So salad is a part of a team that just kind of comes with it. We got our Lowen Executor with Dragon Hammer, Lava Plume, Hypnosis, Leech Seed, Dark Aura, holding the metronome because I didn't know what else to actually put on this thing. Let's be completely honest. All right. In the last episode, they brought us here so we can take on, I'm thinking, the Grass Trial Captain. This is the Grass one, right? Yeah, this is um, um Milo. No, it's not Milo. Wow, that's how we're starting. Milo, why did I think of Milo? Milo and Thatch. I guess Milo, the first thing that pops into my head when I think of Milo is, it is Milo. M Milo? M M Malo? Anywho, the first thing that popped into my head was Journey to this, was, oh my goodness. Journey to Atlant, Journey to Atlant, Atlantis. Atlantis, the cartoon Atlantis with Milo and the girl that's like, that's speaking Atlantean and then all of a sudden starts speaking English and then starts speaking French and then starts speaking to just a whole bunch of different languages and he's just the translator going back and forth with this girl and I'm just like, I can't even understand a word you're saying until you get to English going, welcome to the city of Atlantis. This is a Pokemon saying Fifi. Fee, 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 five, foam, munch, munch, crunch, crunch. It sounds like a commercial for a cereal. Not gonna lie. Not to mention, I really, really want cereal. Actually, me and my uncle, my uncle is my new roommate, essentially, which I think I've told you guys about. But anywho, he bought a huge box of cinnamon toast crunch, and I am addicted to sugar and anything cinnamon. As long as it's real cinnamon and not like those cinnamon candies that just taste hot like red hots and stuff like that well not red hot hot sauce but there are candies that just bleh, i hate them i can't stand them speaking of bleh i'll go about that story as well but wait, we gotta battle two of them i think we have to battle two of them <laughs> i don't know we'll have to see about that anywho but i've already gone through one bag of this big old box that has two bags in it. Oh, oh, what's up, Tornadus? Has the family. We got Scott out here who has T-Bolt and Ice Beam can take care of you very easily and very quickly. And actually, before this before this recording, I read, okay, you cannot be flinching me. You cannot be flinching me. I read someone's comment for the episode that went up today. Today is actually Monday, breaking the fourth wall. I read a comment real quick before I started recording because I have to work later today. But it was by Tyler saying that, hey, you may want to switch the team. You're really, really weak to fighting. And I looked at it and I'm going, 
You need to stop flinching me. <laughs> you need to stop flinching me right now. You hit air slash twice and flinched me twice. Air slash three times flinched me three times. One time is shame on you. Two times is shame on me. But three times is just shame on the whole darn planet. You need to stop doing this right now. You are making me mad. I hope you use Tailwind. Because that's the only way you're not flinching me at this point. Thank you. Anywho, he said something along the lines of our team is really, really weak to fighting. And I looked to see what kind of Pokemon that we could add or like switch out and stuff like that. And then I realized I looked at it going, you know what? No, I really like my team. Not to mention, I just did a bunch of grinding. There's my champ. I just did... <laughs> I just did a bunch of grinding to get my team leveled up and all that good stuff. And now we have a Machamp sitting out here like, I'm going to make you eat those words. Um, on the bright side is I have Casper, the friendly ghost. Because he's the friendliest ghost you know. And he's going to take care of this Machamp because you can't touch him. At least that is what I am hoping. Sleep powder? Can we hit sleep powder? Can we hit sleep powder? Can we? Yeah. And that's why I have sleep powder on my boy Casper. I love it. Honestly, I've thought about this. Okay. Maybe a Gengar with bad dreams is not the best way to describe this. But if I had a Pokemon that could just straight up put me to sleep, I think that would be probably one of the best Pokemon ever to be like like in real life kind of Pokemon I, I'm not saying I would have a Jigglypuff to put me asleep I'm not saying I would have a Hypno or a Gengar to put me maybe a Mew to put me to sleep what is your team what is your team right now you're trying everything in your power to get rid of me right now and I don't like it I have Panette though I have Panette. I have Panette. I've actually been watching a lot of comedy stuff as of recently. I've been trying to figure out the old school uh, Jeff Dunham ones that I actually quote unquote liked. Um, a lot of his new stuff is not to my liking. You have Barrier. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, maybe not. Ooh. I like. Don't. 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 Okay. So, first off, you're not getting your boosts. But I've been watching um, a lot of comedy stuff and the Jeff Dunham and all that good stuff. I just finished watching Controlled Chaos, where Jeff Dunham goes from one voice. Okay, let me see if I got this right. You go from one voice to Peanut to Jalapeno to. His voice, Peanut, Jose, Ugly Jeff, to Other Peanut. He does five different voices just like in session as a ventriloquist. And for those voices, he's not even using, he's not even moving his mouth. It's really cool and really weird all at the same time. I'm gonna bring in Boombox. Because I know this is a Seismitoad, but I don't have a Grass-type move anymore. Besides for Leech Seed. And you should have Grassy Terrain. Uh, grassy Surge. Same, same type of thing. It, it summons the Grassy Terrain. Which I'm fine with. Not to mention, uh, this is the only Pokemon out of all the Pokemon that we have like seen and stuff. That I know its ability like the back of my hand. Because I've faced these things way too many times. Now the question is, do I outspeed the Seismitoad? I do not. We are raining, raining, raining. We are raining. This is actually really cool. I wish they had like a combination. Because this just reminds me of a rainforest. The grassy terrain with the rain. Speaking of rainforest, I actually was going through my old junk drawer. I know we all have like that one drawer where it's just... Where we just put everything in. Or, uh, okay, I won't say all of us, but I know at least I do. I've had them in every single house that I live in, even though I go, I'm not gonna have a junk drawer. And then I have five of them. But this junk drawer has all my old stuff in it. And I'm talking like 
old IDs from like middle school. You have drain punch. You get you get drain punch. You do get drain punch. I had a seismitoad in the cage lock. Yeah, you 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 do get drain punch. Um. Do 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 I'm gonna bring in Alex, which there was another comment by Joy who said something along the lines of I she didn't know why I named this thing Alex. I I was trying I I don't know what the actual story was based off when I named this thing Alex. I thought I named it Axel. I thought that I thought there was a story about that, but I might have been wrong. Who knows? I don't even know anymore. I I need to go back and should I go back and watch my own series? Is that a bad thing if I go back and watch my own series? Technically, well, I, I guess not really because it's I don't know. I don't know. Anywho. Can we get rid of the Seismitoad, please? Because I want to see what else you have. Because your team has been absolutely wild, to say the least. Even though we have a lion in the forest in his natural habitat. That's a Venusaur. Uh, I'm going to keep Alex out. Okay. Whew, I was kind of scared. I was kind of expecting that to be a mega because we haven't seen a mega in a little bit and I'm waiting for it to pop up. I'm waiting for something to pop up that is just going to absolutely wreck my team. What is a mega that is a fighting type? You have mega metacham. You have mega lop a knee that gets fighting moves like high jump kick um what else you have what are the megas or fighting types because technically there is not a whole bunch the only thing that i really think of is like gigantamaxing when it's a machamp because machamp has Who do I have to absolutely destroy you? Come on out, Scott. Because I need you to get rid of this bitter free very, very quickly. Because this bitter free just took a humongous hit on our salad. I guess it's fair because butterflies, like, uh, are, okay, are they considered vegetarians to of some extent? Technically, they don't eat bugs or meat or anything right right I might be wrong on that can we get rid of this butterfree no we cannot because you increased your special defense and I don't really like that I'm gonna use a thunderbolt and I'm gonna get rid of this butterfree and you really hit hard can you just go away thank you I, I don't like butterfree I really really don't I really really don't all right, Jimmy, go away. I don't remember the voices that I used for these two girls, so I'm just going to do the regular voices like I always do. I'm going to have to start doing that because I've run out of voices. I have, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, oh I love... No, wait a minute. I know Joy loves this voice, and I want to make sure I do her proud. Oh my gosh, Carol Channy. Guess now I'll have to give my grass type Pokemon to make me feel all better again. Here, take this green. Did it say petal? Petal. Wouldn't it have two T's? Pet ol. I guess not. I'm wrong. I'm giving it to you because you're doing me a trial though. Not because I'm trying to get you to keep secret what you see all here. What kind of seat? Whoa, whoa. Wait, what did I miss when I was spamming through the button? There's a secret in here that I am unaware of? Wait, so we don't battle her. Why is her blue petal so much smaller? See, 
Okay, I know petals on flowers are not 100% the same size, but they are close. So why was her petal so darn skinny and small, like an eyeball, compared to the other one that looked like a horse's footprint? I don't know. This is the first thing that popped in my head because I was thinking of Mudsdale at the time, which I really would like a Mudsdale, a pure ground type instead of the ground dark type because I really wanted T-Tar on the team instead of Crocodile. All right, this is... I was going to say trial number two, but it's not. It would be trial number... Look at that background. I never... Maybe I realized it when we did the trial the very first time, but look at the background. Not the lava, not the fire, not the mountain ridges, but the sky. That's how high up in the air we are. And that is just beautiful. I One day... I don't like heights. I hate heights. <laughs> Even though I'm saying that this is beautiful. I want to go into a... I guess it wouldn't be a plane. Maybe it would be a plane because skydivers do it all the time. But I want to get to some kind of point like this to where I can just look above everything and all you see is clouds. Or you can see down below. and I think that would be an amazing, amazing view at one time or another. Which, I mentioned the rainforest. I'm going to go back to that whole kind of conversation as well because I'm going everywhere with the conversations right now. And we're going to get back into this. He's a hiker. When it comes to a hiker, you know what? I, 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 I don't. Oh, wait. Here he is. I don't remember what kind of voice I gave for him, though. I, you know what? Doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> this is the final trial. We're not going to meet these guys ever again after all this is said and done. We're just going to battle them, go through it, and try to get through this trial because we are almost done with this solo project. All we have to do is get through this, get through Victory Road, and go to the Elite Four. What's so close? In the Master Disguise's words, this is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do, Beakers. Any questions? I need to start being a little bit more quieter. All right, we got a Grumpig, and we have a perfect Mon for that. Come on out, Panette. I love using a T-Tar. I love using a T-Tar. Which, okay, let me go back to the whole Rainforest thing. The Rainforest is a segue into other countries because in Florida there are no such thing as a rainforest not a rainforest there's swamps there's the Everglades where there are snakes uh, bugs there's alligators there's so many different things it's it's uncanny how many different things are actually in there but there is when it comes to the rainforest and stuff like that, I think that would be an also a very cool place to see. Because I have gone to Jamaica, I have gone to the DR, and it is just beautiful. Some of the scenery is absolutely beautiful. But, with that, it's story upon story upon story. When I was looking through those junk drawers, I found my old money from different countries and stuff like that. I don't even remember where I got them all. I was showing my uncle and apparently some of them are like from, uh, we have Indonesia, we have uh, France, we have Canadian, we got Europe, we got the Bahamas and there's so many in between. I'm going and looking like, I don't even remember where I got all these. I know I've been to the Bahamas. I know I've been to Jamaica. So that kind of stuff I was like, I got those. I know those for a fact. But where did I get the other ones? I still have no idea. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't do that. No, not at all. Um, What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I think Panette is my answer, because technically I can rock slide it, because it's a flying type, but it's also a rock type. 
I need a fighting move. I need to go into my TMs and see who can learn some stuff. Panette. Panette. I know you're stronger than that. Two things. One, it's got U-turn. Two, it's super effective against the dark type. Shame and go bye-bye. <laughs> Shame and go bye-bye. Uh, I'm very scared now because we don't have an answer for that. For that thing. Uh, I'm going to stay in. And I'm going to heal up and hope for the best. I really, really, really don't want to lose Panette. Really, really don't. You can U-turn all you want. I can heal. Oh my gosh, why did I hit so hard? That was a crit. That is exactly why I hurt so hard. Pidgeot. Still not a Mega. Wow. All of these that could be Megas have not been Megas. Which is curious. Very, very curious. Because when you go through a Pokemon game, and certain Mons can Mega Evolve. What kind of Mon, or trainer for that matter, would not Mega Evolve a Mon that could possibly be Mega? That's my thought process. For example, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Pidgeot. You have, um, not Baneary, what was I thinking? Lopunny. You have Lopunny. You have, uh, Mach uh, Macham. You have Ampharos, you have Altaria, you have so many different Pokemon that you can actually, like, Mega Evolve. I'm just thinking, why wouldn't you Mega Evolve something? You have Mewtwo! Like, you, you, you have to Mega Evolve that stuff. You have to. Yeah, there we go, we got rid of that prehistoric monstrosity! Glade. It would be a Glade. It would be a Glade. It's another fighting type. Why? Why? It's also a psychic type. Uh, and you you could be a Mega. Speaking of Megas. Uh, you... I'm gonna bring in Alex. I'm gonna bring in Alex hoping for the best. You are not a Mega. Okay, we are getting kind of... Kind of safe. With these things not being Megas, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to use Crunch, because I think that's... Oh! No, you didn't! No, you didn't. No. No, 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 no. It better be a tackle. Okay. I am okay with that. <laughs> I am a hundred percent okay with that. That could have been a lot worse than what that was. Easily. Oh, <sighs> not gonna lie, my heart skip, 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 sub beat. Every time I see something like that, it just. Because Z-moves have always been so overpowered, it's not even funny. Not even funny. I know Megas are pretty powerful too, but the Z-moves is like having Slacking without Truon. Which, I will tell you right now, if we get a Vigoroth, or a Slacking, or a Sloth of any Why are we battling again? You have one Mon. Okay, I can work with that. <laughs> I can work with that. We're not healed, but I can work with that. You're only level four. You're only level forty-eight. What? Okay. Um. But a Z move is like having a Slack King without any of that. But if we ever get one of those Mons, I will tell you right now. I don't mean to be mean to my mascot or anything like that. But Boombox will be going into the box so fast. 
for a Slack King, it's not even funny. As long as it doesn't have a negative ability, Boombox is going into the box. Easily. Because the power of a... We got the flinch. Boombox is here. No quick club hops. He's listening. He doesn't want to go in the box. Ah! I love Boombox. I love the fact that x Wild can be played either way. Special or physical. But we're playing a physical Boombox thanks to the fact... See? See? That pedal. That pedal's bigger. That looks like a fish scale. So why was the other one so darn small? It's just like, come on. It makes no sense. No sense at all. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> slacking, okay. If you don't know anything about slacking, slacking has the same base stats as a legendary. But the facts that the the, the the facts the fact that it has Truant is what makes it so bad. Same thing as Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas may have some of the you know busted stats in the world, but with Slow Start it takes forever for him to get started. That's why it's so nutty when you try to go that route with a Reggie Gigas or a. Um, What's it called? What was I just talking about? Slack King, for that matter. All right, so what we are going to do is we are here for the next trial battle, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna go ahead and do it. Now the question is, what are you guys going to have? Because we've been flying through these now, now that I'm starting to understand our team a little bit more, knowing we have a humongous fighting weakness. So that means Casper and Alex are like the the saving grace of our team when a fighting type comes out, even though Alex is a steel type and is neutral to fighting, I think. Even with the assault vest, it's not going to do anything because sometimes mons are just special. Hi, Suicune. I've actually had a humongous love for Suicune ever since the gold and silver sleep lock versus. And ever since then, Suicune has been an actual favorite of mine. And even in the X and Y versus, we had a Suicune. And that Suicune was busted too. Suicune has become a real favorite of mine. I'm not going to lie. I've never been a humongous fan of water types, to be honest, because there's so many of them. Did it just use mirror coat and I wasn't paying attention? Did it just use mirror coat and I wasn't paying attention? I'm not gonna lie. I don't like Dugong very much. I don't like, I don't hate Dugong like Scott. I'm not a huge fan of Dugong because of it being an ice and water type. However, if I would have lost Dugong, I would have been very, very upset. Not gonna lie, Sky has put in a lot of work for this team. A lot of work for this team. I don't need it to go down that easily. Oh, that gives me PTSD. Oh. And when I say PTSD, uh, if you guys have not watched Snakewood, uh, it is, Snakewood, we had a Mon, uh, it, I think it was Breloom, no, I don't remember what Mon we had that lost, but it was a Breloom that we lost the Mon to, and we hit the Breloom trying to kill it in one shot, and didn't, and then it hit counter, it was like sturdy counter, and it absolutely destroyed us. All I know is I don't want anything to do with the move counter, with mirror coat, with Wabafets, with shadow tag, with arena trap, 
any of those types of moves or abilities. I don't want anything to do with them. I hate them. I hate them so much. I'm a little scared of this thing because I know how fast it is. It has a flying move. That's lunge. That's a flying move. No. Oh, a salad. There's no way. Salad, you big boy. Salad has been eating his greens. <laughs> Salad's been eating his greens. Okay, I like that. And yes, we can still hear. Uh, what do I have for Suicune? Oh, we've only taken care of two of his mons. He's got a powerful team right now. Wait, Alex has Thunderfang, right? Yeah. Because Dugong is a little low on the health side. A little low on the health side. But Alex can come in through. We got, okay. So technically, Suicune is considered one of the dogs. Legendary dogs, which it doesn't look like a dog to me but I could be wrong um, facing a lion which is indeed part of the cat family so dogs versus cats and if you haven't watched the rival battle with me and mr. Red Bull trainer we did cats versus dogs and <laughs> oh boy <laughs> long story short it was definitely a battle and a half I thought boom burst was available in sword and shield but apparently, it's available in Sun and Moon as well. We're physical attacker. We have a fighting move. Was it a fighting move that I needed? I said something about a fighting move. We have a fighting move on Boombox. Um, since these are all relearnable, I'm going to get rid of... The only thing that's not relearnable is stop. I don't want to get rid of stop. Um, I'm going to get rid of leech life. I'm going to get rid of leech life. Because again, these are TMs. I can always relearn them. It's not a big deal. I'm going to learn boom burst. Because boom burst is broken. It's a stab normal move. Of 140 base. That you don't have to recharge. What could be better? And like I said, we can use this as a physical or a special attacker with an X Wild. Why you hit so hard? That wasn't a crit, and you crit me. Why didn't I hit fake out to begin with? What am I doing? That's the whole point I have fake out on boombox to come out, fake out, get the flinch, get off free damage, and then hit him hard again. I know Masquerade is gonna outspeed me, so boom burst is probably the best thing to do. Bug bud? Bug bud bud bud. Yeah, bud bud. Just like gum gum. Dum dum, give me some gum gum. Bug buzz hurts a lot. We outsped. How did we outspeed? We th there's no way an X Cloud outspeed. Speeds a mask of rain. Did Boombox just go into another like I don't know the speed force or something like that? Uh, I think our best bet. Dugong is still so weak right now. I can't heal Dugong because I just want to. I want to go, go forth and beyond. This is a quillfish, so I shouldn't have any issue with a Mr. Puff over here. I forgot it's a poison type. I've said head, but I was thinking about Thunderfang the entire time. But no, this thing's a poison type as well. I always forget certain mo that mons have a second typing, and it changes the entire diversity of what you can actually do. That is a cool fable. Guess what? I have Alex, who has Flash Cannon. The only mon on my team that can get rid of a fairy type. Boom goes the dynamite. I just realized these levels are not as high as I thought they were going to be. We're actually gaining quite a few levels. Do I have the experience share on? Maybe that's why we're gaining so many levels. I may have to check that for the very next episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, I really do appreciate you coming out and showing that support. It really does mean a lot. And if you guys, like I said, enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. That looks like a Pikachu's tail or ear. 
Well, I, 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 had to, I had to say that thought. But thank you guys for all the love and support. It really, really does mean a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the very next episode that we will be having up on... This episode will be going up on Friday. Next episode will be going up on Monday. See you guys on Monday.